Hey there, Stexio Tribe! In this video, we will cover a much anticipated feature that we're very much excited about, which is the HTML builder and the ability to create HTML files from Google Stacks. The HTML files created by the HTML builder were first planned to be used with the new version of Google Sites with the goal of having an easier process to quickly publish Google Stacks. Uh, since we're no longer allowed to create more classic sites. But albeit a manual process, we now only need to copy and paste text from one place to another from an HTML file into an embed item inside a Google site. And the best part about this is that we can upload these HTML files anywhere where HTML is allowed and that's places such as Google Cloud Storage Buckets, Amazon S3 Storage, Microsoft Azure, Oracle, or IBM. And that's just to mention a few of the most popular cloud storage providers out there. So in this training video, we're gonna be doing a couple of things. You're gonna see me build a brand new Google Stack first, then build the HTML for that Google Stack on my Google Drive, and then finally publish the HTML code on an empty Google site. So you can follow along and watch over my shoulder as I go through the whole process. Now I've done some of the pre-work of identifying which keywords, uh, which videos, article, etc. I'd like to build a stack with. So now I'm just copy pasting them into the Google Stack Builder main panel input fields here. I'm also adding a call to action banner image that I want to be shown at the very top of every Google property, including the new Google site, which we will uh, have a chance to look at later. And from the control panel, I want to do PDF Docs, Microsoft Docs, Google Docs, Google Calendar, and now I am ready to start this build. Now, when the builder is done, I typically like to check the contents of the stack on Google Drive uh, just to make sure that everything I asked for has been built as I expect to. Now, I can see that Stacksio created all the files for each of my keywords and that the Google Sheet has the links created accordingly. So I'm happy with this build and can move forward on to the HTML site builder feature. Uh, but first, I'll copy the Google Sheet link before jumping into it, uh, because the HTML builder will ask me for the Google Sheet ID to create the HTML files. So now that we're inside the HTML sites builder, yeah, the only mandatory field here is really the Google Sheet ID, and that's all you need to create HTML files. Now, I like to squeeze as much juice and power as I possibly can from these properties, so I'll be inserting data into as many of the fields uh, available uh, here as possible. And, and that's including the very much important JSON-LD schema data and one embed item with my money site link. Stacks here is telling us that our files are now ready. So let's have a look. So here's the HTML folder and one HTML file for each of my stack keywords. 
I'll open the top keyword HTML file and do a select all and copy this HTML code to the clipboard. And now from inside my brand new Google site that as you can see here has nothing on it, I will insert an embed component and select, select the embed code tab and paste the HTML code in it. Now clicking next will give me a preview of the contents and I'll click insert to continue. And adjust the width to the max that Google allows us to. And hit publish and Here we have our brand new Google site published with our Google Stack properties. So I'm just scrolling down now to make sure it's all good. Yeah, so um, about this. So let's open the website with an incognito tab so we can properly see the Google form that's not displaying uh, when we're logged in. There we go. So I've got my videos embedded and looking nice. My money site on the iframe here and my weather widgets. So everything has been successfully built and published. As an optional step, we can extend the height of the website to its max so that the scroll bar on the sidebar disappears. And we can do that by dragging down the bottom limit of our embed component like so. Now this will take some time depending on how big you've made your Google stack. Um, I like to have as much of a clean website as possible. So I take the extra time needed to make my websites uh, look better. And once we do, then this is the result. No more scrolling bar. And this is how we can quickly publish Google Stacks inside the new version of Google Sites.